All right, guys, it's Kevin. I'm back with another little video. If you guys are following me along with this uh, blast furnace that I'm building uh, and you're trying to do the same thing, I make these videos. I try to uh, make them to where you don't make all the same mistakes that I make. And, um, you know, by leaving the comments uh, down below, you guys help me too. So I'm going to show you. I got a crucible here. I ordered this. I I personally didn't know uh, really nothing about crucibles or anything like that. So uh, in the size. So what I have in here is a size four crucible. Uh, this is the crucible right here. Now I wanted to build my uh, blast furnace out of a propane tank. The inside I was going to use a propane tank as my shell. So, I wanted a crucible that would fit down in here. So I got a size 4, they said a pop can would fit inside of it. I could fit a pretty big pop can inside that thing. And a pop can size I thought would have been nice. But this thing is pretty big. And, now if I go to put it into my furnace, it doesn't leave me much room at all to be able to clamp on to this crucible. So what I have in mind now is, you've seen the video where I cut all these stone. Now, these stone all have a flat back to them. And the only way that I can make more room inside this thing is to grind down these corners all the way around until I can get it to go out a little bit more. Now that's going to give me a little bigger mortar joint, but I think it'll still be okay. Uh, but I may have to grind this down and then I'm going to have to make the tool to clamp onto this thing so I can get it out. So what I did is I ordered a size 2. I'm waiting on it. That's one of the main things I'm waiting on so I can finish uh, building my blast furnace. So as soon as I get that thing in here, once I get my uh, other crucible here, I will start building the rest of this thing because I want to build it around that crucible. I'm going to try to get this one to work, but this is a size four. I want, I ordered, they have a one, two, three, and four, and I, this is the four, and I ordered a two, so it should be twice as small as this, hopefully. Because the only thing I'm going to be using my uh, blast furnace for it's basically building knives. If I want to build, a, say, a brass guard or something made out of brass or aluminum or copper, <coughs> I could use it to melt it down. Hold on just a minute. Well, you got to excuse me. I got a little bit of a cold and I want to go pick up a ruler so I could give you guys some measurements on this uh, crucible to make sure. You know, you know about what size a size 4 is, because I had no clue what size a size 4 was. In outside diameter, I think they give you a somewhat measurement of it, but it's not, I mean, pop can. Okay, pop can fits in there, but I could probably put a big old soup can in that thing. But anyhow, let me give you some measurements. Uh, this one at the spout is about 6 and an eighth inches wide. So if it's 6 and an eighth, you're going to need something... A little bit bigger so you can actually get your tool down over there to clamp on it to pick it up. <clears throat> now, the height of it is about six and three eighths. So six and an eighth by six and three eighths high. Now, I ordered the uh, size two. I think if you're building it out of a propane, a size three probably would be okay. A size four is going to be snug. I think a 3, a 2, and a 1 would be perfect inside this blast furnace. But I'm going to try to get this 4 to fit because I already have it. And if I can't use it on anything, then it's going to be no use for me. But then again, later on, if I decide I like this thing, I may end up building a bigger one. I don't know. But uh, for now, I just basically want to use it on my knives so I can build little stuff for my knives out of uh, old stuff around the house. So... Uh, that was just a little bit I wanted to share with you guys before I get on this thing. It's not going to be long. As soon as my other crucible comes on in, we're going to start cutting up that propane tank and getting these guys fit in here. 
I did find um, the refractory mortar up to 3,000 degrees. It's not exactly the same jug that I showed you guys on the last video, but I'll be making another video uh, when we're putting this thing together and mortaring it in, and I'll give you the information you need for that uh, mortar. Um, so just keep your eyes open for the videos as I go. I made a playlist. I'm going to start doing a step-by-step -step playlist on this this build so anytime you want to go back and look at it you can look at the playlist okay i'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like till next time